Hey everybody, this is Hunter and today I've got an awesome camper for you. It is the 2022 East to West Alta that we have been waiting on for quite some time to come in. You got the new interior decor, nice and light and bright, the new exterior graphics, which I think look, you know, look as sharp as can be. And this is just an awesome couples camper with the ability to sleep, you know, the occasional extra people if you would like them to this is a camper that's going to rival something like our pods newest line the 202 this is a slightly larger version to it and i personally like it you know quite a bit more i sold this one i've got a couple coming to pick it up tomorrow and they're heading off hopefully to go do some good camping in some awesome places but today we're going to run through a couple moments on the inside show you a cool couple cool things and then I'm gonna dip around the outside for another couple minutes, probably wrap this video up 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. And then I'm heading off to watch a football game with the kiddos. It's gonna be a good time. But if you guys like RV videos, make sure to hit that like or subscribe button, maybe drop a comment, say, hey, or if you have any recommendations for, um, you know, things that I could do to make the videos better, I would love for you to do that. But again, the 2022 Alta 2350, krk this is a rear kitchen you know kind of couples coach and again with the ability to sleep a few extra with that couch but let's go ahead and start in the shining star it is the rear kitchen this little living room it's awesome it is spacious for a camper that's this size it really does not get much better and as you can see i love how they lit this thing up with the uh, with the accent lights a lot of the companies use those blues and, uh, you know, it's just kind of goofy looking. I think this actually adds to the ambiance of the room. It adds to, you know, the experience when it's night out or when it's light out, dark out, geez, oh, Pete's, and you don't want to turn the lights on in here. You can just leave that running just for a nice little atmosphere. And, of course, right here is your control panel, which I'll show you here in a little bit. You can shut all that down if you, you know, are not a fan of it or just don't want them on. But right back here, you're going to notice tons of flat nice counter space underneath this poster uh, which we're leaving in it's just a, a special features poster that kind of breaks down things for you uh, but uh, underneath here you know obviously you just have some counter space but i love how you know there's just so much room to put stuff even the oven has that nice black or i'm sorry the nice glass uh top there which you can use as a backsplash but you have your three stove top burner you got a decent sized little oven there if you want to do, you know, some cooking. You have four drawers right here. One, two, three, and four. They are all looking just like that. Underneath this single bowl undermounted sink, which is stainless steel. As you can see right there, by the way, this is a cutting board top, which is nice. A lot of campers do that. And you got yourself a residential feel and this bad boy hit the dishes from all angles but you have a lot of good storage there underneath and they really open that up oftentimes you'll find that the plumbing is kind of sectioned off in a lot of different brands and it really ruins your ability to you know maybe sneak some windex or some cleaners there below the piping past the piping and then some of your bigger stuff over to the left you know maybe a garbage can something like that you also have some additional drawers right here above your fuse box. So if anything ever goes out, you got your fuse box right there, nice and convenient, uh, conveniently placed. But you got three of those, one, two, and three. Ooh, geez, oh, Pete's just tripped. All right, but you got your microwave right there. We all know what those are. Don't need to explain that. This back window, you do have a nightshade, which is nice. You can get your Dracula on and block out the sun. Hopefully you got a good view of a lake or something like that. But if not, close it down. Keep those neighbor's eyes out of the place. These lights right here, they do click on and off. And you'll notice there are two outlets here and two outlets there. Up above here, you got some good storage. And they're on these hinges, so you don't have to worry about holding them. All you got to do is lift and they stay. But good storage that goes back over to there. Really everything that you need for a nice size trip. To the left of the sink here, you're going to see you have a couple USB ports. So that's always nice if you want to charge your cell phone or use any of the devices now. Just about everything 
can be ran off those USBs. And that brings us to the control panel, which is something pretty darn neat. I don't know if this is new to the 2022s or if they started at the end of the 21s. I'm definitely going to have to find out. But they have this single touch uh, button. So this is for your awning right there. And all you got to do, and I'll show you how easy this is, you just hit that extend and check this out. So this is running on its own right now. When it gets all the way out to the end, what it'll do is it'll go out and then it'll just retract back in just a hair. Yep, and now back in. I just think that's pretty neat. You know, is it totally necessary? Probably not. Is it cool and easy? Absolutely. And you're ready to throw it back up. Just hit the retract. And you'll notice at any point, you just hit that button again and it'll stop. So pretty cool little feature there. Just something new that you get. It's not out there in the RV industry. I've been selling for about eight years now. I have never seen that. And that was pretty darn cool, you know, to see. So over here, you got your entertainment center and you got your refrigerator. So this is a Magic Chef refrigerator. It is a 12 volt. So it does not run off the propane, it is gas and, or it is, uh, yeah, 12 volt electric. But that is nice when you're going through tunnels, it's a little bit safer, you don't have to worry about shutting off the gas or any type of gas buildup, anything like that. Not to mention this works so much more effectively in the freezer, it'll actually keep your ice cream, you know, nice and hard as opposed to your traditional RV refrigerator, which will leave, you know, ice cream kind of soft. It'll do the job, but it'll leave it a little bit soft. You have absolutely massive storage. Uh, I just love that. I mean, I'd probably find a way to fix, you know, some hanging clothes or something like that. But whatever you want to do there, you got plenty of room to do it. Maybe you got that one annoying kid. You want to, you know, have him sleep in there or something. I don't know. More storage here underneath as well. And you got that little doodad. I don't know what that's for. I guess that is for a dog or a cat or something. You can put some, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to read that. That's pretty neat. I bet that is for a little animal or something. How cool is that? So right here, you got yourself an electric fireplace. Setting range is anywhere from 72 all the way up to 100 degrees. And when it says 100 degrees, I mean, it gets 100 degrees. That thing is unnecessarily hot. But in a camper this size, you could probably heat the entire thing just based off of that. And, you know, when you're looking around here, I think it could do the entire camper. You know, it'll save you some money on propane. It'll extend the season out because you have something to help boost that propane heat and you're good to go. Additionally, underneath here, you have your two USBs and you have some outlets right here as well. Now, this is pretty neat. So that is a button to... You got your TV up here. This will go down to make one giant counter if you need the counter space. There's a window hiding behind that, so that way maybe you can catch a view. And above that window, you have the Furion sound system. This thing gets absolutely bumping. It is a very nice sound bar. You got yourself an HDMI port, a USB port. You can control zones for inside and outside. I'll show you where those speakers are when we head around the out. But very easy to use, really simple system. They're doing away with some of those clunkier systems that are, quite frankly, they're just goofy. They're hard to click the zones and tell what you're doing, but just check out how smooth this is. So it's not very loud. It's pretty darn quick. It goes in nice and seamless. It goes up just as quietly and just as smooth. You got yourself a nightshade again right here. And this is gonna also be your emergency exit. So you just yank that pop that window out and you're escaping in the event that uh i guess that the door is <laughs> i guess that the door is blocked now we're going to spin around here and you got yourself a little sleeper sofa so to do that you take the cushions off you whip that back piece um this bad boy right here you just move that around yeah you pull it all up I'm not going to get into that. It's pretty hot in here and I'm sweating and I'm ready to get out to go watch that football game. But you just flip that around, pull this out and you're ready to go to make a nice full size bed, you know, for your guests. And although this camper is not overwhelmingly long, 
it's got awesome storage space. So you already saw that and everything for the food and all that good stuff. The counter tapes, countertop space. But you have this, which they kind of hid in there. It's not anything too uh, overwhelmingly large. And you got to move this pillow to access it fully. But why waste the space when you can have, you know, any type of storage in there? And it's nice because it's got these little lips right here. So you can really keep everything in place while you're traveling. You don't have to worry about it banging against the door quite as much since you do have that lip. I have seen quite a few people tack on, you know, it's like even like a staple gun, you know, a little mesh net that goes across something like this, which I think is a pretty neat idea and something that the manufacturer should be doing. Um, but, you know, eventually one day I do think that's going to be the case in all the different forums on Facebook and all that. Uh, that's the that's the thing to do. Have to get that checked out right there, but you got more storage up here as well. Again, with that lip, I like what they did here. I think this just looks really nice, got a little texture feel to it. It's looking good. Oh, part of the 2022, I forgot to show you, was this floor. So they changed the floor a little bit. I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's a nice, you know, wood looking, you know, appearance to it. I think it's nice and uh, it's classy. It's classy. Nothing else to say there. Your Dometic monitor right there so you can kick on the AC, easy as can be, centrally located. And you got yourself your pass-through bathroom straight back to, you know, the bedroom. And this right here, you just unhook it. Sliding door. Don't need to go too much into depth into that. It looks like it's a little magnetic latch, actually. Yeah, sure is. That's pretty neat, too. That is something that's new. Like what they're doing there, that's always nice. And then you just latch it back and you're good to go. So in the bathroom, you got a little extra counter space here, a little bit more storage, again with the lip right there so things don't roly poly around on you. And you got yourself a bigger than average sink for a camper this size. Typically they're that little like half little dome thing. It looks like you could fit maybe a glass of water in it. Up above, they found a way to sneak some corner storage along with the mirror. Got a little place you could put some, uh, anyone in my family were probably gluing down some like crystals or something. The lady loves those things. Good storage. And again, it's not sectioned off in front of that tubing there with a the little sheet of uh, one eighth, you know, board. You can actually sneak a couple things in there. Got yourself the porcelain throne, the Dometic foot flush. So easy as can be right there right here you got more good storage and that thing is deep i mean i'm six feet tall and i am not even close to reaching i'm about a foot away so you might need a uh someone with a super long arm to get there i don't know why that is that deep but it's cool that it is now right here you got yourself your you know it's a shower i don't need to go into that but it's a good size shower and if you are quite the tall person you got yourself, you know, a nice little, uh, oh, Jesus, Pete, why am I blanking? Uh, spotlight, sunlight, whatever the heck that is. You got that thing. You got a little, uh, little place right here to keep some air circulating. If you'd like, you can install in like a, um, fantastic fan. That'd be a nice feature to, to drop a couple, couple dollars on to add to that. Bedroom, pretty basic. Got some good storage all the way around. You got hanging storage to the left and to the right. A couple drawers for some knickknack items. And tucked behind here, you got a place for a little CPAP machine. You also have on each USB, USB, outlet, and outlet. I'll show you a closer view here in just a moment. But first, I want to show you what's under the bed. So you lift that up. And again, it's on some, uh, some air shocks there. So you don't have to worry about it clunking down, dropping on your head, hurting yourself. You got a little bit of room right here for some sheets. You got a table here, but well, I wish I pulled that out first. But right here, there are some drawers that you can pull out. So you can put, you know, whatever you need, some stowaway stuff, maybe some clothes, probably blankets, all that kind of stuff. But a lot of good storage there, and it's useful storage. Go ahead and lower this down. Some overhead storage goes all the way through from end to end. 
So that's always handy. Place to put some hanging items along with the bar. That is to the left and to the right. So I'm not gonna show you that side. And there's three more of those to see. I'll let your imagination do the trick on that. The door, same as the other side of the bedroom with the latch right there. Yeah, so pretty neat little room. Again, you got yourself a window with the blackout shades and your emergency exit if you conveniently cannot make it to that door. So in a case of emergency, you are good on either side. One is just more comfortable to get out of. It's pre-wired for Wi-Fi, kingconnect.com. You'll have to do some research on that. I do not know much about that at all. You got yourself an outlet, got yourself a couple cables, place to put, you know, yourself a TV there. So you can watch some, uh, some tubage. But if you guys made it this far, I'm gonna head around the outside, point out a couple little things, and then uh, I'm gonna get on with the night. But again, make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you guys like it so far. And uh, if you're in the market, hit me up at hunter at the rvhunter.com. You can also find 30 second tours of all the campers that I do these videos of on my Facebook or Instagram page. I post a couple of them on YouTube, but you know, Facebook, those 30 second ones seem to do the trick. So one more time, the 2022 Alta 2350 KRK, a rear kitchen couples model. It is awesome, dual axles. You got yourself your more ride, step above steps right here. Or I'm sorry, not more ride, geez. Just your step above steps. And those will just fold up into the door, do a little stow and go type situation. These three right here fold up into ourselves and go into a little slot. You have uh, right there is a little dog leash holder. So you can attach your dog there if you're at a campground. Don't want them, you know, kind of run around, do whatever, but they need some fresh air. You're ready to roll with that. What's nice about the Alta, you know, the East to West is one of those few brands that are actually even doing a rear ladder anymore. They say that there's a COVID shortage on ladders and a lot of your fifth wheel brands, you know, they're not doing it anymore. I don't know why. I don't know if that's true. Who knows? But uh, I'm not a fan of it, but I like that the Alta does it. That way you can get up on top, do the maintenance that you need and not have to worry about figuring a way up there. You got one. And I forgot to point out, when I was talking about that Furion system, that is your outside right there. You got your outside speaker and speaker. So this thing does get bumping. They're marine grades. You don't have to worry about, you know, any, any rain or anything like that, you know, gunking them up. You got a bumper with a spare tire. Right there's your water heater. And right here, you are prepped up for an observation camera. Runs you $550 installed. Uh, the one that it is prepped for and the one I would recommend is the Furion S-Vision. Runs you 550 bucks installed, like I mentioned, but it's a four and a half inch screen with distance markers while you're driving down the road. So that way you can see, you know, what is going on. This camper is eligible also for a slide topper, which is basically an awning for on top of the slide. That's $700 to install. It is really nice to have. You know, if you're at a campground underneath some trees and you don't necessarily want to jump up there just to clean off the top of that slide, you know, you don't want to crunch any any branches or anything like that, you know, into it. Create a problem for yourself. But, you know, so when we go back to looking at the outside, you have your stabilizing jacks. And what I like about the Alta is they're dual motored, which means that this controls this jack and the other jack. And check this out. So... So then you'll see that other one is completely on the ground still while this one is not. So that's nice if you're on some uneven territory. You don't have to rely on this thing doing the job. You know, you can do it yourself. You can level it out yourself just with that. There's also another set of two, you know, right up front. And that would be right here. You got yourself a black tank flush, which is always nice. Keeps the uh, keeps you from getting out there and you know cleaning out the pooper tank. Why not use a black tank flush to make life a little bit easier for you? Some automatic lights right there. You got a place for some water, your fresh water. You know you can use this. It got a little hose there. All pretty basic stuff. Your battery disconnect, your solar panel charger system, all that good stuff. 
This customer opted to get the blue ox, which is money well spent. $750 installed. And that is an awesome weight distribution system if you guys are in the market for one of those. Highly recommend checking them out. But guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, the 2022 East to West Alta 2350 KRK. My name is Hunter. Make sure to subscribe for me. Have a great day. Bye.